All right, I'm here with Chris and he's an electrician and he just installed my ethernet cable So I'll link in that video, but he's gonna show us inside an electrician bag. What have you got here? It's a bit big. This is actually a framers bag like a builders bag. You can fit a big um, Big square in it, but I like all my screwdrivers and pliers, so It's all nice and easily accessible mostly screwdrivers and pliers. It's pretty much our main thing. Yep um, A few strippers electricians have got a few things for strippers, too um, Conduit cutters, uh, chisels, it's sort of the yeah, cutting I, I department. Yeah, I saw you, saw you using the conduit uh, cutters. Yeah, to, really and, and you even were able to use those while the cable's through it yeah, as well. Yeah, you just sort of ream it. You just yep. don't go through it. So yeah, I like having uh, all my tools accessible when I'm working. I can see what I'm getting. Two pairs of pliers, marvels. Yep. Um, and the other side is, so this is the vertical section, mm -hmm. and this is the horizontal section. Um, impact, hammer, and what meter do I use? Oh yes, yes, everyone wants to know what, what meter you use and prefer. One, a 117. Fluke uh, 117 is a fluke, yes of course. Can't Why? Go, can't go past the low impedance yep. mode. Uh, it's really good for checking circuits and tripping safety switches. See, I didn't think of that, Trip, tripping a safety switch, yeah. yeah, that'd be a big deal. Because there's yeah. resistance in here, you can go yep. between uh, earth and neutral and you should, if the safety switch is working correctly, yep. uh, it, will, it will trip it. So you can, you can prove that a circuit's on, you can trip it and then prove that it's off without moving. So Got it. 117, it's the, it's the way to go. And my clamp meter is the 325, which has got the AC and DC clamping. Yep. So it's good to, uh, when I do lots of like uh, LED jobs, it's good to be able to clamp um, for your DC current as well as your AC current. Got it. So, yep. yeah. How often do you get phantom, is phantom voltage a big yeah. deal? Yeah, yeah, all the time. Yeah, right. all the time. Wherever there are conductors running parallel to other conductors, you're gonna have induced you know, voltage, so. Yep. Yeah, okay, so a normal multimeter just won't cut it. You've yeah, got to have low impedance. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. You, you, you've got to trust it. It's your meter, so. Yep. Um, what do you got for, like, cable pool? Because you're, you're a certified cable. Yeah. Uh, cabler as well. Are there any additional Oh, data cable. Ca data cable. really. No, it's no. just Chrome. Uh, just, chrome, just Chrome stuff. Yeah. Chrome stuff, things yeah, like that's that. that's it. It's nothing yep. special with data, I suppose. Just, um, you know, crimping things. You know, your RJ45 crimps, your coax crimps. That's your main stuff. Um, yeah, chrome yep. tools, so yeah. Do you have backup tools in there just in case oh, well, you lose your screwdriver on the job? I always have two pairs job? of pliers. Oh, two? Fra a fresh right. pair and a not so fresh pair, so <laughs> yeah, always two pairs of pliers. And right. Then backup screwdrivers as well, you know, spare posi spare posi, spare flathead, you never know. Right. Yeah. Is it posi and not Phillips? Well, f Phillips and posi, both of them. They're good for um, doing up breakers. So a normal Phillips right. will work, but it sometimes slips. You just get better purchase with the um, the posi. Pretty, it's pretty heavy, but it yep. saves. It's, it's better than going to the van every five minutes. So. <laughs> right. Well, you, you did leave your chrome tool. You left your yep. chrome tool. So. Why would that not be in the bag? <laughs> what? It's not good enough. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right. Uh, network comms. What what have you got? You need a good network tester. If you're doing data, you need a good network tester. Uh, this is the Fluke uh, Cable IQ qualification tester. It's about ten years old, but it yep. does the job. You were um, saying only up to one gigabit though. It'll only test up to a gigabit. So you so. can't test Cat6 up to its full limit. Yes, that's right. right. Okay. That's right. But do you just assume it's going to work it? Yeah, what that? do you spend five grand on another tool or do you? Ooh, yeah, yeah. So I should, but uh, for the moment, this qualification test is doing the job. Um, right. It'll tell you how long a run is. It'll tell you if you're going to get a gigabit or not. Um, and it'll tell you if there are any crossover pairs or anything yeah. like that. Or so. as we saw, you were you didn't quite punch in the all the way because yeah. tell us why that was an issue because um, you, you were trying to put a patch lead in and patch leads are physically different to yeah patch leads are flexible whilst uh, cat6 cable is more rigid right so it's a bit harder to term uh, to use a chrome tool on a patch lead but yeah, got we it. got it we got it we eventually got it yep. and it's tested now we're getting a gigabit to the the dungeon so the dungeon watch, awesome watch this space <laughs> fantastic <laughs> thanks and you reckon it's worth paying for oh, the yeah. top brand tool yeah always right yeah, always, always. Yeah. Was it? Right. buy once cry once buy once cry once all right so that word that's worth that's about a three grand meter yeah I think. yeah yeah it's, yeah. yeah it's got the dongles on it so. yeah all the, all the different dongles you can do um cable as well uh, uh, sorry, uh, coax. coax. You can do yep. coax as well. So yeah, you can right. you can go and put all these dongles in the outlets in your installation. Yep. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six. They're all numbered, and then you can just go to the patch panel with this, 
and go through all your, uh, you know, all your points, data points throughout the building and you can test them, save the results on here. Once they're working, you can go out into the field again, pull the dongles out yep. and that's it. So, so it saves walking saves back and forth walking 10 times. Walking back and forth. Yeah. yeah. So, Got yeah, it. Yeah, definitely worth it. Saves time. Anything that saves you time is worth it. Absolutely. Fantastic. Is there much uh, coax work these it's days? All, uh, TV antennas and NBN. Oh, okay. You're still doing TV antennas. Yeah. People still watch TVs. For some reason, people <laughs> still watch television. <laughs> Why? Yeah, YouTube's the way to go. Yep. Uh, yep. But oh, I, I did promise to show you something. Because you are a fan, you are a fan of not just the EV blog, but check it out. There you go. It's the Widelerizer. Because he, he, he is an AVE fan. This is the Thumb Detector 3000. <laughs> <laughs> Bang. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Made in Canada from Beautiful. Canadian oak or something. I don't know. Uh, uh, ma maple. I think it's Canadian maple and solid copper. Yeah, and, uh, wow. And he, and he lacquered it, I think. Yep. There's two layers of lacquer. Oh. Beautiful. Thing of beauty, joy forever. Yep. That's amazing. Ah. Made my day. It's a pleasure <laughs> to work for you. No worries. Thanks, mate. Catch you next time.